Um, I can I can understand where they're coming from, and I actually agree with that. Um, I don't think scouting is the place to engage in those conversations, and actually we never did. It's never come up until the Boy Scouts made it an issue. So, and we're not just um, a topic that needs to be discussed. We, this My orientation is no more a part of who I am as a whole as anyone else's. Um, it just, it, it's just a part of who I am, and I'm not asking to be treated better or I'm just asking to be treated the same and I don't have to talk about the straight leaders sexuality why do I have to talk about mine yeah it's and just, I, know, I agree I know you're revered I mean I know people loved you as a den leader and Cruz you know uh, at seven years old I, I know that you're not part of the Boy Scouts anymore what do you miss about it and and what is your understanding about why you're not part of it now what do you miss buddy my like, friends does he Go ahead. How did you, uh, Jennifer, how did you explain to him that he wasn't going to be part of it anymore? Well, I told him that because um, I'm gay, because he has two moms, that I can no longer be leader. So we are going to pull him out of scouts because we can't support that organization and support mm -hmm. that type of environment. So he, he, I mean, he understands to the best of his ability. Yeah. He misses his friends. What about you? What do you miss about being... Yeah. Den I leader. miss his friends too. <laughs> we we love scouting. It, it was our life. Um, I gave everything I had to scouting. Um, we made great friends. We made great bonds. And um, if you're not in scouting, you can't really understand it. I mean, it's it's an amazing bond that you you share with these people, and um, that's been ripped from us. So. Um, and that's what I told Darren. Um, I'm going to continue to meet with you because I'm not going to stop. So I'm going to keep bringing you petitions as the numbers grow.